What's up, Fight Fans? We're back once again with the In The Ring Boxing.com podcast show. For today's show, we have on the line with us the WBC USNBC middleweight champion, Elvin Ayala. Elvin hey, has a... Up? What's going on, man? You got a fight lined up November 5th at the Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. You'll be facing Miguel Hernandez, contestant of season three of the reality show, The Contender. And we'll get into that in a minute, but, but you know, how's everything going for you, man? Uh, going, it's going great. Uh, I got, I'm getting my training in. I'm on the way to the gym as we speak, and uh, I feel good. Yeah, how's training been going for you? It's going tough, so that's a good thing. <laughs> all right, all right. You still in uh, Manfredo's gym? Yes, I am. All right, cool. So, so the last time you stepped in a ring, you looked impressive. I was ringside for it, and you were in there with the big, strong middleweight, Derek, Derek Finley. He was credited with the knockdown in the first round, which could have been a slip or whatever. But regardless, you got up and basically outboxed him. He kept yeah. coming, yeah. He kept coming forward, and you used good movement. Set up, you know, you set everything up with the jabs, set some traps. That was my perception of it. What was yours? How'd you rate your performance? Um, I thought that uh, I did good. I could have could have done better, of course, but I didn't know. I didn't really know anything about him. My opponent got switched two days before the fight, which became uh, the Superman. Derek Finley, mm-hmm. and um, I did great. I just kind of boxed and stuff like that. I just thought that um, it was when I when I see the tape again. I thought that I could have threw more punches in, in areas where I was moving around, and I made a miss. I could have countered real quick, but I was just cautious, which is okay, you know. And uh, also, the first round that that definitely was a slip. You know, there was nothing that landed. I watched it over and over. There was nothing that landed solid. Nothing that landed. They knock me down or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But um, it is what it is. I, I was okay with it. I didn't let it frustrate me, and I, and I continued to box. Yeah, man, I was I was impressed with the way you kept your composure throughout the whole fight because he was a big, strong guy, and he kept coming. And uh, you you had you know good footwork, and you were doing your thing in there. But um, so Hernandez, what do, what do you know about Hernandez? Do you get into studying tape or anything like that? Well. Um, I, I kind of try to like look on YouTube and try to find him, but I don't go crazy about it. I kind of just watch his, watch you know how he fights and you know just a little a little bit. And besides, I seen I seen a him fight in um, the Contender Three series, which I was rooting for. Him, so, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I I just I kind of don't go all the way with it with that because when he fights me, it'll be a different fight. So I, I just rely and trust my trainer. And what, let him, you know, kind of cruise me through these fights and what I should do or what I shouldn't do. Right. Hey, are you gonna go in there trying to stop him, or are you just gonna go in there just look for the win? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, work hard, and if, if something opens up where I can knock him out, then then I'll, I'll be sure to take that. But uh, I'm not gonna go in there like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna knock this dude out because things, you know, you gotta you gotta kind of have a, a clear mind. Mm-hmm. when you're fighting and be aware of everything and know that um, anything can happen. So I kind of I kind of take my shots as they come, you know, in the position that I'm in at that time and the movement and the duck that I did when I made a miss or, you know, if, if I block or if I, certain angles, you know, certain punches come out in certain in different moves. So I kind of just keep cruising with that. All right. Hey, 2011, man, it's been a good year for you. you, you your promoter kept you busy. This will be your fifth fight this year. What do, What are you looking to do in 2012? What's the plan? Well, I'm I'm hoping to continue winning and um, um, keep elevating, where I can uh, possibly shoot for the, the world champion. Uh, as of this moment, uh, it, it would be uh, Sergio Martinez, and um, you know I would like to take his, you know, all, all respect to Sergio Martinez, he's doing a great job, but, uh, you know, when you in this sport, you got to go for the top. Mm-hmm. So, um, I would like to try to take him out, you know, or, or if somebody else beats him before I do, then whoever wins, I would try to like to take him out. Did you see his last fight against Darren, Darren Barker, and what did you think about it? 
Um, I, I did see that fight. Uh, he got caught with a few punches, but uh, he keeps his hands down a lot. But that's pretty much how he fights. He's, he's an athlete. He's an all-around athlete. You know, the guy's just in great shape. Uh, he moves well and stuff like that. Um, I thought that was, I seen him fight way better than that before. So I, I wouldn't touch his, um, I wouldn't judge him on that fight. Okay. All right. And, you know, in regards to uh, your training, uh, you know, you got Peter Manfredo Jr. He's got his title shot coming up against uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. And um, uh, his father trains you as well, right? Yes. Is, is there uh, any problems with the scheduling or is it is this, are you both getting it in? No, we're definitely both getting in. We work together. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, like when, like he just had, he just came back from Texas. Uh, he had to do an interview over there. So, you know, it's, it's actually great. It, it feels good. I feel like I'm in a world-class um, training facility, you know, which it, which it is, like a world-class training area that I'm in. And um, I feel good. I feel good that I got champions around me and, you know, especially Peter Manfredo, he's, he's, he's great. You know, he's an inspiration to everybody in the gym. And um, I feel I feel good. I feel good. I, I feel my, uh, my mind is clear. I, I feel a lot focused. Um, I'm ready. You know, I know I understand, I'm well aware that anything can happen in the fight world and one punch can change anything, but I'm ready for that. That's just, you know, just what I do. I accepted my destiny, I accepted my, uh, who I am, and I'm going in there, you know, stronger. I, I, my, my goal not only is to be the world champion very soon, but um, to be better in every fight that I go in. You know, uh, everybody tells me, oh, you did good at the last fight, and then the next fight they're like, oh man, he was so, so much better in that. So I want to continue that. I want to continue to be better in every fight that comes. Okay, champ. Well, I, I know you got to get going and hit that gym up, get the training in. Is there anything you'd like to say to the fans in closing? Uh, thank you for supporting me, man. God bless you all. And uh, I fight hard. I train hard. You know, not only for myself and my family, but for my fans as well. All right, fight fans. That was the WBC USNBC middleweight champ, Elvin Ayala. That's it for today's show. My name is Carlos Cruz from IntheRingBoxing.com, telling you to stay cool and educate yourself. Peace. <laughs>